A few weeks ago, when this was the forecast, I got a message from someone living in an apartment that was a stuffy, humid 81 degrees inside at night because the AC was not working. Yet this was the forecast they were getting from the maintenance person. So the tenant asked me about renter's rights. You've probably noticed that I'm not identifying the person in any way, that's for their protection, even though one renter's right in Texas is that the landlord cannot retaliate against you for making a maintenance complaint in good faith. Also, for your protection, you shouldn't withhold your rent if something needs fixing because that can actually make your situation much worse. Now, if a verbal maintenance request doesn't get the job done, put it in writing and be specific and send your request in a dated letter using registered mail or certified mail with a return receipt requested and then save any written responses and make notes about any conversations about that request. You are expected to give your landlord a reasonable amount of time to fix things. That's usually seven days, depending on the severity. Now, if they don't do it in time, and this is where your written records come in very handy, you may be entitled to terminate the lease, repair the problem and deduct the cost from your rent, or get a court to order that the repairs be made. Just know that many items are not considered required repairs, like a dishwasher, for example, unless your lease says it is. Now, generally, issues that threaten your health health or your safety are considered must fixes. Some people would argue that no AC with a forecast like that affects health and safety. There is actually a guidebook for tenants rights here in Texas. It says AC sometimes qualifies, but check with your city too. It turns out that air conditioning is a mandatory maintenance item if it fails between April 1st and November 1st and no window screens are provided. That is the specific rule in Dallas which is where the apartment tenant I started with happens to live. They say that they had been dealing with that bad AC for more than two months. I called their complex on their behalf recently. The tenant was also persistent and the tenant called out the city's code compliance. And with that, voila, problem finally fixed. I'm glad they got resolution. I'm sorry it took all of that to get this taken care of. I have linked to the handbook of tenants rights, by the way, and to some guidance from the Attorney General's office and to some organizations that offer legal help to tenants. It's all with today's post at Jason Wheeler TV on Facebook and Twitter where I'm maintaining your ability to stay right on the money.